Welcome back to my channel. I got a LA-135 that uh, the deck was gone in it. I'll show you in a minute here. The deck was totally gone. So I bought a, uh, a 145 that had a deck and the big wheels on it. And it had a PTO clutch. The button there is gone, but uh, I'm gonna, I switched it over to uh, this LA-135. Had the small wheel on it. I uh, reconditioned the deck, 48 inch, took the, and I put the bigger wheels on, and I put the PTO uh, button on it, clutch, put the clutch underneath, and I wired it up. Now I got all the safeties wired up. Um, I just got the, the switch here. I just uh, took the old switch that was on the handle. I think there was four wires on it, and one was a normally closed or normally open contacts and I just uh, metered normally open, normally closed contacts over there and I just uh, switched them on there and the uh, it works good. Now, when you switch over to the PTO clutch, you need to change the coil in it because this coil is not strong enough to run the coil and charge your battery at the same time. So, I pulled off the uh, flywheel off of this one. I'm gonna put this uh, stronger coil into this tractor so it can charge the battery and mow the lawn at the same time. I'll show you how to do that. One more thing, for the power, I ran my ground wire to the negative and I said PTO ground. And the power right, this I branched it off off the meter. The meter only comes on when the tractor is running, so I just uh, the, the power wire going to it. I just uh, uh, piggybacked off of that, and so that's I get my power, my power to the switch. It puts power to the PTO coil. Now if you take if you take, if you jump off the tractor, it shuts off while the safeties are are in. And it won't start with the the thing on. It's got to be down. So this looks like uh, that uh, 145 over there. All right, you need a 10 millimeter socket to take off the six bolts, three on each side. You're gonna take off your air breeder cover and a uh, filter. And there's a screw here you need to take off and put a rag in there so nothing falls in down your uh, carburetor. So this takes a 5 16 socket. Alright, this is going to come off. Oh yeah, screw. We'll forget about the screw here. Now you got two bolts here. And, uh, okay, next up is take this fan off the flywheel. Takes a 13 millimeter socket. And this nut here is a this nut is a 32 mil. I'm gonna just spray a little WD-40 on it. Right, coming right off. Take your washer. 
washer. Now, you know, these are 5 16 bolts. It's coarse thread. So I bought this cheap uh, puller. I think I only paid five, six bucks for it. So I bought uh, four inch long bolts. So I'm gonna thread the bolts in. Make sure it's even. Looks good. And tighten up the, the big bolt there. All right. Mine takes a 19 mil socket, so I'll go get that. I'm gonna just give her a, a little bit of torque here. All right. Okay, got my hammer, my pry bar. I'm gonna go underneath here. Lift up on it a little bit. There you go, she's off. There'll be a key in here in your flywheel, just be careful to not to lose it. There's the key. Now's the time to clean the crap out of your uh, magnets. Okay, there's a the coil. Looks like there's only one wire. That's pretty good. These uh, four bolts takes a um, quarter inch socket. Anyway, I'm gonna unplug this and this should uh, pop, pop right off. Yep. All right, cut the fire wrap off. Pull this out. There you go. This is oh, this voltage regulator only has one wire to it, and this uh, 145 coil has two. It's no big deal. So I'll switch that voltage regulator to that one. And this one to this one. All right, you're gonna have to take this uh, bolt here. It takes a Torx uh, socket. Nice and easy. All right, then. So oh, here's the other voltage regulator. Ten millimeter socket. Plug this in. Only goes in one way. A little dirty in there, I think I might clean that. There, just plug that in, plug your, your power. There you go. All right, those four bolts are tight. I switched the uh, flywheel, I took the flywheel off the other tractor just in case these magnets are a little stronger. They look the same to me, but they had a different part number on it, so I'm just gonna make sure that the taper is all nice and clean. Key, had to fight this the magnets, but she went in. So I'll line up the key and slide her in. There you go. Grab your. Grab your. Ah. Fine enough for me.
Japan. I did clean the, the grass clippings off inside the flywheel. The magnets were all clean. Okay, these two uh, bolts here, 13 mil socket. Nice and tight. All right, this is a good time to clean your heads, all these grass clippings. If you don't clean that, these motors are great, but if this gets clogged up and they will overheat and take your motor out. So every once or two years, you gotta take this cover off blow compressed air to clean these. These heads are not too bad. There's just a few in there, but uh, these just clogged up. You're gonna take your uh, head gaskets out. There you go. So I got the cover to put on. This needs to go underneath the cover. Oh, put your six bolts all the way around. When you put on the cover, the cover slides in this, this groove right above your carburetor. Make sure that's in, slide it right. Slide it right down. When you put the bolts in, the bolts got a like a ridge, and you put it in all the way in, and wiggle the cover that goes in, and then it's not uh, clamping on these uh, tabs here. All right. Tie them up till the bottom, you can feel the difference in the torque right there. Yep. Don't forget that screw. Alright, filter. Nothing went in, that's good. Good time to clean your filter. Now you got it out. This one's pretty good. the cover. All right, that's it. If you like this video, press thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you, you can subscribe to my channel, click below. Thank you very much.